blood flow restriction training involves the use of a specialized cuff that's typically filled with air, although not always. And it is applied to the proximal most part of the limb. So typically in the, um, in the deltoid region for the upper body or the thigh region in the lower body. And because blood flow restriction induces the accumulation of metabolites that are normally produced during exercise, um, it traps them from leaving. And that means that the muscle gets tired quicker. And that is really important for, um, for muscle growth with very light loads, because without getting tired, we're really not going to stimulate the muscle fibers that are going to be responsive for resistance exercise. So as a physical therapist or a personal trainer that's looking to get um, the benefits of high load exercise, you can use low load exercise with blood flow restriction because of the unique effects that it induces at the muscular level to give that similar uh, change in muscle growth. So there's been plenty of research looking into the benefits of low load blood flow restricted resistance exercise on producing muscle growth that is similar to heavy load or high load strength training. We wanted to know, does the repetition scheme adopted impact the resultant muscle growth that is equivalent to high load or heavy load strength training? We looked for all the different studies that have compared low load resistance exercise with blood flow restriction to heavy or high load resistance exercise without blood flow restriction. And we compared the hypertrophy or the muscle mass accretions following that. So we looked at three main repetition schemes, the two that have been normally recommended according to a position stand uh, paper by Patterson et al back in 2000, published in Frontiers in Physiology. And we said, okay, given what we all know about BFR exercise, can we further reduce the repetition range to give the same benefits as high load exercise? So we stratified our third subgroup uh, into sets of 15 repetitions. And we found that in the included studies, uh, that looked at this, we found that three to four sets of 15 repetitions uh, gives the same hypertrophic benefit as high load resistance exercise. This is a very important uh, contribution to the body of research on blood flow restriction because it does challenge the current recommendations for resistance exercise. Um, typically, it is 75 repetitions, 30 repetitions, followed by three sets of 15 with a 30 to 60 second interset rest at about 20 to 30% of the one rep max. Our research says that maybe we can lower the floor a little bit by 15 repetitions, as long as the load is within 20 to 30% of the one rep max. So yes, it does have the uh, potential to really impact both clinical practice, but also in uh, personal training or, or other other settings where um, they're currently doing 75 reps or multiple sets to volitional fatigue. This is something that I'm very excited about. I'm passionate about growing blood flow restriction in multiple practice settings, but cognizant of the fact that BFR is not comfortable. And so any way that we can reduce the discomfort of BFR exercise and give them that same benefit is of extreme practical importance.